It's, it's got to be close to like 18. Oh, in value? Of that I give you? No, like you give me. Oh no, I'm not that high. That's where I was. 1800? Yeah. Oh no. That's... Yeah. <laughs> You should look uh, on top over there. The Paradrome box, the Nintendo box, the wrestling ring. Get a shot of the Obi Wan. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. He's got it. If I can. All right, Tron. And then this one. This is impossible, that game. I'll leave that on. I might as well get this one. That one I got just to play Gauntlet. I didn't actually joust. Defender I was never any good at. Oh yeah. But yeah, you can move in here now. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna hang that. Yeah, so I got a guy coming in today with vintage Star Wars. Uh, and I know there's a farm boy Luke in there. It was just a, it was like 60, 70 figures. I don't recall much, if any, last 17, but even some of the basics are just getting difficult. So, especially farm boy links. He's, you put him in the case, he's gone every time. And uh, he's just, I think every, he was heavily played with, just like a Han. Yeah, they uh, are, they're always tanned, hair scraped, saber gone. Oh, well, uh, just, geez, if you get uh, 10 Lukes, eight won't have any saber. And then the two that have a saber, the tips broke off. Yeah. Travis, have people been buying the uh, toy fetch shirts? I just bought one today. Uh, I want to say four or five sold after the show. Um, I think people have been buying them online too. I know a couple of people, well, Brian, the whole family came in. My father and two daughters, and they all had shirts on. How, what is that dark wing duck thing in the case? Is that the rat catcher? Is that with the, the motorcycle? Yeah, is that what they call that? I do not recall the name. Well, somebody's can... messaging me. Uh, what is that thing called? <laughs> Rat catcher. Is that the one in the case though? Yeah, yeah that's it. Um, I think it's missing. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's missing one, like a windshield on the the side carriage. It's 150, and it includes the dark wing with his gun and cape and hat. And all that. We got a custom uh, transformer that came in for Devastator Studio Series, and they have all kinds of custom paint on here. All this black. In order to complete them. I'm gonna try to get him his original look. But there's so many little crevices and, and it's just right. gonna take forever. I've been working on this for about a week now. Travis started it, I'm gonna try to complete it today. But hopefully we get it done. Okay, when you walk in. Gotta do one you piece at a time, otherwise right. you just get overwhelmed and kind of lost it. What part you're cleaning and a lot of rubbing alcohol, a lot of scrubbing, and a lot of patience. Can you identify the paint? I can identify the color of the paint. Black. What kind of paint is it? I think it's a tempera paint, like cheap poster paint. That's why it comes off with alcohol easy. And worse if it had been acrylic. But yeah, I mean, it comes off pretty easy, but it's just in these little nooks and crevices that it's making it near impossible. All these gears in here. I'm sure he did it as a kid and it was fun. He did the ladder. Didn't do a very good job. Well, but I'm sure it was fun doing it. So this is from Derek. Care package. He just fan of the channel. And I'm looking at this. I did crack the lid because I was like, I thought it was a shipment. And then I was like, oh, wait a minute. This was... So I have no idea what's in here. So we got a his tank. So this is super cool because I think there was a guy in the past who sent me some cops and crooks parts. 
And now this is my first like official box, but I definitely wrapped everything good. And it's definitely in good shape. Always do that. See if it locks. So this is really cool because you don't... So out of everything G.I. Joe, I don't have the Viper. You know, the, the two different gliders? No, actually I have one of them. But they just didn't survive. Yeah, they were what, paper and styrofoam and... Yeah, so all that normally makes it is the little hard plastic piece that slides in. Right. But that's super cool. So you had both. So Ooh. good guy and the bad guy one. That's great, and I haven't seen a blueprint do that green like that. That's awesome. How do you fight on a glider? It's in the cartoon. They fly you know, in. How, uh, <laughs> with lasers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So, you aim them. <laughs> flat cannon, pack rats, missile defense, machine gun defense, the ram cycle. We oh, had two ram cycles. Polar battle bear. There's the claw, bivouac. So he had multiple. Oh, but you know what? Some might be the instructional now. Some might be the blueprints. Snake armor. That's cool. Mountain howitzer. So which one? See, there's the air. So this is the regular one, right? Yeah, Skyhawk. Fang. Hiss. There's the dragonfly. A famous dragonfly. Mortar defense. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know if I've seen this. So that must have come with the glider then. To order extra glider parts. Wings and rudders. Two bucks. Plastic support frame, a dollar. Falcon label sheet, 50 cents. That's cool. And there's three. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't think, but I don't think I've, I have that paperwork in my, so here's an APC. Then one of the seatbelts is in there, great. Steering wheel, all right, so you got APC, here's the top. That's great, all four tabs aren't broke. Yeah, it looks, he definitely took care of his stuff. Ooh. So this is headquarters parts, bivouac parts, pack rat, snake armor, dragonfly. Oh yeah, look at that. And it's not broke. Right? Not broke. Not broke. And it still works. So, yeah, this, his stuff's mint. Because these will either be broke or here. That's awesome. All right. Flak. It's the howitzer. It's hard to see. That's the snow jobs or a polar battle bear. Right? Polar battle bear, right? Uh, yes. There's the claw. It's definitely going to be hard to probably see all this through the... So there's the fang. Headquarters parts. Headquarters. We'll see, these are easier to unwrap. That's headquarters. Headquarters, these are headquarters. So that's part of the jail for the headquarters. Skyhawk. It's the headquarters gun. Oh, and a couple. So you have uh, Cover Girl and Wild Bill. Yeah, no. So I'll put that on Andy's desk. Yeah, no, so this is awesome and I appreciate it.
Thank you so much. My name is Griff. Uh, I brought in some vintage Star Wars, some uh, 3.7 vintage collection Star Wars as well. Um, I went really hard in vintage Star Wars for like about a year, bought a lot of collections, but I'm a younger guy, so it was more of like a project for me. Um, Ryan's a great guy, I've been coming to him for years, so coming to switch out some stuff with him and get some hot toys and a few other things, so. Those are yours at one time. Oh, were they? <laughs> yeah. I bought them for you. Um, these were great. I just played them for a little bit. So I'm moving on from vintage, so. It's be a fun, fun trade. Okay, so is this one you took out? Yeah, both of them have been out before. Okay, because yeah. yeah, I can see. So you see. can see that this, that's there. But yeah, that was the one thing with these. You could open these, right? Yeah. I mean, you pop the tape though. Yeah, tape's popped. Okay. But you know. All right. All right, so. So we got vintage collection. So now what, what did you tell me you were getting out of? Getting out of all of my- uh, Smalls or? Smalls and then original vintage is all in there as well, so. All right, cool. I'm gonna switch over to Hot Toys and some bigger stuff. I think it's like 66 vintage figures and I think about only 20 of them are not complete. So it's just a really, really nice collection. I've come just, over, like I said, over the few months, collected. If I collected anything modern, that's what I would collect. Yeah. I would just try to get every every one of these. Mm -hmm. Jar Jar's in there. Yeah, Jar Jar's seen a little better He's beat, day. he's beat. And Slave Leia, she's in there too, but she's real beat. She's in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they'll never make her again, right? <laughs> It's not correct. Okay. So Thrawn. Now all the white are complete figures, the original collection, uh, original vintage, and then the purple are incomplete vintage figures. Okay, so maybe I'll start with. I just started here this morning on the on the variant. That's I the went, first I, thing I looked I watched at. It, I went to go check mine. I was like, let me go check mine and make sure. <laughs> Out of all, I mean. Like I said, uh, it's possible I sold some not knowing. Yeah. It's so hard to know yeah. everything. And like I said, they should all be complete. You see something missing. I know I'd have two IGs in there that I think are, I'm missing their E11s, but I have in the purple box some extra guns. Um, there might be an E11 complete one. Uh, edit drivers. I wanted the quarter scale Vader, but he sold. So I'm gonna take quarter scale boba for sure, and then we'll look around and see what else is there. Yeah, because you were gonna knock all these out, right? I mean, I've been, I went for like a solid six months hard on the vintage, and then That's I didn't cool. grow up with them, so I don't have any. Cool. It was just a fun project for me, but like I said, I don't, I don't have the nostalgia that the OG collectors have. So, oh, it's so your brown snake. Oh, yours. Yeah, you I bought, bought this here. Yeah, had fun with him for a while. He's awesome. Brown snake Yoda, pack me and eyes. But now there's like Smile Factory. There's Cater, there's like light limbs, dark limbs. It's like, oh my God. Really nice Sabre figures. I got a Luke farm boy that's probably one of the cleanest I've ever found. Uh, Sabre with Vader and a Sabre with Ben, all original vintage. There's the beautiful Luke. That might be one of the best looks I've ever seen, clean wise. Oh, I, I had that trap. What? I mean, he's pretty. Yeah. yeah, what's he say? He's Hong Kong's. My weight is head. It's like sharp. Oh, yeah. But he has just enough tiny little things that it's. It's magic eyes. It's, it's, it is vintage. It's oh, just, yeah. But yeah, it's. It, we, we don't, we don't see him that clean that like, often. The guy that was selling the collection, that was like the, 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 the diamond that he was selling the collection with. Like it was like, well, you're buying it for this loot, basically. Yeah, so. well, farm boy loot yeah. is a difficult get that's not heavily played with. And, and you know, and you still got the saber. I guess the only, the only be a little bit more rare would be if you had a double telescope. Yep. <laughs> which I still haven't had. 
Darth Vader. He's got a weird uh, single Oh, with the cape? Yeah, his cape's almost like some of the whole punch. I don't know what happened there, but uh, yeah. it's like it when I got it. Yeah, but it's more, it's getting it for the saber. Yeah, but it's, you could see there's like a indentation in there. But that, I mean, you could put a new cape on him. His paint's good and the saber. But these guys, it's just the sabers. I have plenty of Travis, you want to... He's got a little green going yeah, on his leg. Yeah, he's all kind of wonky. But that might um, rub off. His legs are honestly pretty, I mean, it might just be for parts for him because his legs are really not good. I mean, I have replaced the rubber thing on there. Yep. It's just, it's a hassle. It, it's, I haven't gotten good at it to where I can do it efficiently. Yep. So it's almost oh, so like, well, I mean, you want to do it on a, a worthy guy, but yeah. He Man and Skeletor are worthy. Are worthy. I don't have power sword for He Man, but. Okay, so ATST Emperor. Sending the Wicked. Wicked Staff is such a problem. Like I said, I could never find one. Bought four or five collections, I could never find one. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. so that Leia, she's good too. Oh, yeah. You got the belt, the poncho, and the hat. Yeah, she's good. Her and Luke Poncho are good. Oh, there's the other snow trooper. You might be able to switch out. Oh yeah, he's Pretty way good. more white. Yeah. Alright, so these are done. That's pretty big. He's okay. In, he's in there though. Is like everything the box is beat, but he inside um, the speeder inside looks pretty good. Does it uh does it, it work? Stickers and everything. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I used to hide stuff in here, <laughs> like a little gun or something. Yeah. Man, but that's tight. Okay. No, oh, and you got the little, yeah, yeah, the little book, the vintage book. And they barely had anything. Yep. I kind of want that headset. I've never even seen it. Right? Other than that book. It's just like a radio, right? Yeah. There's the four 12 inch, the little vans. And then three of the die casts. That's great. That always happens. The, the, yeah, the discoloring. It's a different material, so it discolors. But the reins are not broke, which is pretty rare. And he's fairly white. He's decent. Yeah. A little discoloring, but I mean, most of them are way worse than that. So. You could salon 40 him. Yeah. Or I could salon 40 him. Wampa, Wampa. Greatest Kenner commercial ever. Watch the Wampa kid commercial. Yeah. I did the math. Somewhere around two should be right with him to get his his money. You know, he's got to make his money, and I want to support him. So, I'm not really caring about the money. I'm gonna be trading anyways for a lot of the stuff. But it should be around two if I take cash. And I don't know what he does for trade, but. She'll be something, right? And maybe Sakura? Daryl, actually. Even Jar Jar? Jar Jar is pretty crazy. I mean. So then I, I'd almost have to price these as loose, though. Yeah. Just probably. due to the condition. The weird thing, though, that I've learned so say, for example, let's just say she's worth 80 bucks loose. Mm -hmm. And you put that on your counter, it detracts. Oh, yeah. And then you're, it's hard, even though it's carded. It might even be worth this man. Just so then, just let's say, say this is worth 100 yeah. in this condition. If you took this out and put it, you know, let's say in the case or whatever, and you put 100, you'll get it faster, loose than. than with that. That's what I was thinking. Because it detracts. Be better if you just open them and. Yeah, just it's, them it's loose. weird how it works, but it, it detracts from the. Wow, so on like really nice jar jars. Yeah, he's crazy. Really nice. I was surprised. I mean, if this was a clean card, it'd be, you know, 120 bucks. Yeah. Uh, but loose complete is about 40. What are you thinking? This is more than I'm thinking. 
I mean, I know what it'll be. I'll tell you. Right. I'm just curious. So much. Hey, well, tell me trade first, because I, I know there's some things I want. And then once we do that, we'll see what's left over. I mean, I can tell you what I was thinking, but. Well, tell me. It's on my calculator. I'm going to show you. Let's see if we're. It's like, it's, it's got to be close to like 18. Oh, in value? Of that I give you? No, like you give me. Oh, no, I'm not that high. That's where I was. 1800? Yeah. Oh, no. That. Yeah. Oof. I'm at 1080. So, where did you come up? I had 150 for the jumbos. Right. I've got all the vintage. I don't remember what, what the number was. Oh, crap. Him, I've got 150. That's like 25 for. So what I'm saying, 150 is like what you're what you're giving me for it. So 25. All those I had it. Well, what did you? What's your total value of what's here? I, didn't know that. I just did for you. Like I, I did. Everything. But how do you determine what I did mine it from is? eBay. No, I do it. So then you think there's 3,600 dollars here? Not that, not that much, but at least 3,000. Yeah, see, I'm, uh, I'm roughly at $2,200 in retail here. I mean, you know better than I would know. Yeah. Yeah. But so I couldn't give you $1,800 for $2,200 worth of stuff. That's fair. And I think I was fair on everything. Uh, I mean, most of these, so and all this modern stuff, let's just say they're 15 to $20. Uh... I did, I, the ones that were more special, I, you know, I mean, I truly looked all that up. I, those aren't really much money, I mean, they're just. Uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, I, but I don't, I don't see how we get. Break down the vintage for me, like, what do you, what complete, you, you don't have to have some figure, but like, give me a, just an idea. So value? I told her. Like what you're doing on Vader, I Ben, and. Well, so well what I do is I value everything. And then I do my formula. Yeah. And basically, I'm going to give you half. So like 70? I valued him at 150. So 75. 75. Yeah, yeah that's, what I, that's what I thought. I mean, this is what I valued at 60. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think. He's a little beat up. He's beat up. <laughs> but I mean, I still think I put 30, 40 on him. Mm -hmm. Chewbacca's are only doing 20 now. Yeah, yeah, no, I know Chewbacca's not. Uh, I think I put 30 on him. I put 150 on him. Hello. There used to be two, they're not. I have one in there. Or at least I had one in there. So what, what is, what is? I think I put 40 on him because he's clean. Yeah. 10. What would trade be? Because well, I'll tell you what I want. Well, just tell me what you want, and then we'll see if I we can work it out. I want quarter-scale boba back there. Which one? Quarter-scale boba. The, uh, there's two. The, uh, there's the, the clean statue. One, the clean one. The clean hot toy. Um, okay, not the sideshow, the, the hot toy. I want quarter scale boba. What do I have on that? It's 625. Okay. Didn't that. you say you want a best one? No, no, the. I do, I do. The figure, the hot toy is 625. The sideshow statue is 660. I want the hot toy. The so hot toy. 625. Yeah, 625, okay. right. right. Um, I, did, I did want best in week, but. That low. You guys have any questions? I'll rather or take or and run, and then whatever you yeah. can do, cash. Okay. Uh, can we do boba and five hundred cash? Uh. Let's do it. It's a little bit off, but I'll do it. Thank you. And you're happy. I'm happy. That's yeah. good. Yeah. That's good. That, but yeah, there was there yeah. was just no way it was the other. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. No, right. That was just what yeah. I meant. And let's see, you gotta have it out. I probably went from like the first okay. one on eBay and kind of just. Oh yeah. You know, well, most of these are really yeah. easy to do in my head. Yeah. Uh, and I was fair on the Luke as well as the R2 and the Stormtrooper. I, yeah. I even did good on the. Um, I know that you'll find these I'm, were a little I'm more difficult just because I'm sorry, open. these are like two to two hundred and fifty dollars, let's say on Boba, yeah. but that's sealed. Yeah. I can't find anybody selling one loose, yeah, yeah, which that's fair. 
Uh, all right, cool. All right, so then we worked it out. Yeah. What's the difference between the two? Like, is it technically I mean, two companies? But right, no. I, so side shows same scale and everything? Pretty, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're both. Yeah. They were competitors, and now they've combined, I guess. Yeah. But I think they're doing comp equal quality. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they... I like, mean, some people may say, no, I, I, I mean, I'm not that... I mean, I can't tell now. the difference between the two of it unless it's in a box. That's yeah. No, I, I, I just think that because I mean, sideshows made huge strides like in the beginning. I mean, but then their figures were thirty bucks. Yeah. I mean, it was Universal Monsters. Yeah, way cheaper. Forty well, bucks. But that was yeah. when Hot Toys was like They're barely getting off the ground. I remember seeing a Hot Toys Tank Commander at KB Toys. It was like fifty bucks, forty bucks, <laughs> forty-five bucks. Yeah. So I mean, it was one six was all military. Yeah. In the beginning, it wasn't superhero stuff. And... Hello. Hello. 